Howdy tubes, how is it going? Well, here's my new, well, not new, I had it for a couple months now. Here's my new Poland model P3314. It has a 33 cubic centimeter engine. Um, the original bar is up over the, up on another stand. I took it off, it was 14 inches, so it's just 2 inches shorter than this. Um, this thing has a gas problem. Well, not a gas problem, it's just when I, when I, um, use it to cut wood, I go through wood. Yeah, go through wood. Well, I go through wood really quick with the teeth here, which I sharpen before I really fill up, before every time I go out to the woods. Um, I got my own tools to tune it. Um, tuners are here, low, high, idles. I don't mess with the T, I just mess with these two. But I got it tuned to right where I want it. Um, let me start it up for you guys so you can hear it. There's my Poland Pro. Um, next chainsaw I'll be getting. <coughs> Should have done that outside, but I don't have shoes on, as you can clearly see. Um, I took it to the shop. Um, thought the carburetor was going to go bad. Was going bad in here. What turned out to be was a little screw in there. Was too tight. And miss the hole in the flap. Which, if I had time, I'd show you guys, but I really don't. That's all. Um, but pretty, no, pretty much in all, this is a badass saw. And I'm kind of through a willow that's probably about half bigger than this. Bigger width than this tree. Yeah, this tree. The stand here. And, sorry about the mess here, it's just all my tools. Um, I have a depth gauge, files, I have lots of stuff here. Um, but she runs good. The first time I got her, I don't know, that scrape right, that cut right there was from this little lip right here, which I'm going to sand down. But there's many ways you can start this. There's the knee. You take it, put it between your knees like this, start it. There's the floor. You put it in and you pull it up. Um the knee where you put your knee on. So if your knee slips it hits here. And so your knee doesn't slide off and hit here and cut. Because there are some pretty gruesome injuries that people can get. Um, it's a two stroke. It takes two. It takes mixed gas, which is right there. Um, but another thing people should do, if I have it, um, is get ethanol reducer. And pour it in there. Because people use 80, you know, go to the gas tank, push 87, 
you want to put um, ethanol reducer in here because if you don't, it's going to ruin the piston. It'll chew that piston right to hell. Um, the shop guy was showing me some guy's chainsaw that it, it blew the piston right out of the housing because there's too much combustion. It erodes it, so that's why I have in there also. But all in all, it's a really good video. Well, I hope so. Um, tension's good. You can test the tension by pulling up and letting it back down. Tension's really good. Yeah, it's just the only problem I had was the throttle valve was open. So every time I would start it, how you guys are seeing the chain running, because I had the low setting too high. But that's easy, I just adjust it down and I'll stop it from running. But it was constantly revving up, constantly, you know, running, 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 when I even shut off. Unless I hit this. Um, how there are instructions on the back, I don't go by that. Um, that's when newbies get it right out of the box. This thing, I can start it again. Simple, easy. I don't need to choke it unless it's been sitting for a couple of days. I choke it, hear that one rev, push it back in, start it. And it goes right to work. It starts again, starts again, starts again. Alright people. And my follow YouTubers. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below. If you want me to make a YouTube video of me chopping through wood. With this thing. This thing can do some damage. Let me tell you what. Alright. Have a good day. Bye.